Afternoon. I know I've not made videos lately, but at the end of the day I've just been too miserable. I've got to change my job. Uh, part of being miserable was falling so far behind on the allotment. But uh, it's bank holiday Thursday today. I don't usually get, or I don't get many bank holidays. I've actually got today. I'm working tomorrow. But I've spent today shooting around the garden centres, just picking up what I can as last minute crops to go in. Uh, until today, all I've managed to do is onions and shallots, garlic, potatoes, and more potatoes. That's all I've managed to do this year. I mean, you've got the stuff that comes back each year, like the asparagus and the strawberries, and of course the plums and the apples behind me. But I was seriously short on crops, on things to grow. It wasn't looking good at all. Uh, this morning I've managed to pick up some sweet corn. So I'm just going to clear this bit of grass out of here. Put the sweet corn in here. I also managed to get some butternut squash. These are all things I normally grow from seed. But I just haven't had the time. Uh, some butternut squash there. They're going to go in next to the garlic because that garlic's going to be coming out very soon a matter of a couple of weeks probably by which time these will be starting to spread across the bed and no one's going to get in anybody's way uh, for the greenhouse I got can you see how many teasel I've got growing all over the allotment I've left them I've encouraged them they're brilliant I'll have so many butterflies and bees once they flower uh, my tomatoes are in as well got my tomatoes in there's one two three four five there as well as I think another five at home uh, also I've got melons growing at home in the conservatory now in the greenhouse I've got four cucumbers on the go there's two femspot f1s and two ridge cucumbers and I got again this morning I picked up four sweet peppers because I always grow sweet peppers here in the greenhouse. So I've got some sweet peppers and some broccoli and some cauliflower. So there's no way I'm going to get all of this in today, uh, but I've got today to make a good start. And I'm going to start with the sweet corn because sweet corn doesn't like being in little training pots and the roots are growing out the bottom. So that's my big job for today. Clear the grass out of there, get my sweet corn in, and then get a load of cardboard and mulch around it all. Now, working tomorrow, but Saturday, uh, on Saturday I've got a ticket to go to a museum, um, which I am so looking forward to, I cannot wait. I'll give you some clues, people might guess where it is. It's about a half hour, 40 minute drive from here over into Buckinghamshire. And it's a museum where I'm going to be able to look at oh look, look look at lots of different things, but there are two particular things at this museum, which both come about half a mile from my front door. There's a there's a round thing, which was found at Puddle Hill, which is now Houghton Regis Quarry, Houghton Pit. So there's a round thing from Puddle Hill, and there's also an arch shaped thing from uh, from Sewell also about half a mile from our front door and we've made videos at both of those places before so it'll be really interesting when we go to this museum to see what I'm on about any guesses I'll see you Saturday one last quick clue for anybody who's familiar with Viz all me chalfonts.